Have you gotten to get into the dev you've been playing the game? I know that. Have you gotten to look into the development side of it that much? Uh, I've started watching the uh, video series they put out. By the way, I think it's freaking cool that a project this size has a weekly series. I don't think, well, I don't know if people give them enough credit for doing that. Like it takes effort to put videos like that together and they knock them out every week and they're making a video game. I just think that's really, really cool. CIG has like a thing with communication. They, I think they do a pretty good job. I do think that they sometimes don't communicate in the ways that they mm. should. But you're right, the, the weekly videos are really nice, just kind of casual updates. Um, and then they do the, the hour long discussions every yeah. week, which sometimes, you know, they don't have that much info, but sometimes, man, those, like if I was able to watch one of a video like this about some of the other games that I back or that I, that I uh, follow, I'd be just super That's jazzed. That's what I mean. I think it's great. And like imagine if, um, you know, to go back to GTA 5, imagine if I had that access of development of gta 5 back when i was just given a screenshot like once every three months oh uh, yeah like yeah and it kind of like annoys me how i don't well maybe i'm wrong but i don't think they get enough credit for showcasing how much like the, the actual nuance small details that let's be honest like a lot of players probably don't care about the nuance like collisions or the fact they're working on this specific thing but there are people that do and i think it's just super cool that they cater to those people that really want to know exactly where the development is yeah yeah they they also do a monthly report where they just basically type up all the stuff that i uh, maybe not all the stuff but a majority of the stuff that the various parts of the studio have been working mm -hmm. on and you can just read through it and see okay this is what they worked on in april and like you said there's a lot of stuff in there that people just don't yeah. care about i mean um the one of the latest drama <laughs> one of the latest drama uh statements has been about bed sheet deformation which is you know the cloth yeah. physics and how they'll be applied to beds <laughs> and it's like what game will ever tell you about like i'm not gonna go play red dead redemption 2 and they have like little patch notes and they're like okay updated bed cloth <laughs> collisions it's not important but it's cool that stuff, like we that get to at least about. know that's what they talk like that's what the cycles started talking about like there's so much other stuff in this game and that's what i'm that's like i get so passionate like i came back to this game to check it out but if i hadn't mm -hmm. i would be thinking what i'm being told on like article sites and stuff that this game is only focusing on bed sheets right now but like when you play the game there's so much here <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> can you, I just like, can you imagine <laughs> like this $400 million game and you're like, oh, okay, cool. I'm going to try this out. Let me download the alpha. And it's just like a bed sheet simulator. <laughs> just moving, moving that's cloth they, back that's and forth. That's they talk about the game. Like there's so much to this game. I feel like this game maybe gets a bad rap with people that don't actually play the game. Like, yeah, there's bugs. Yeah. But like it's in development and it's getting better all the time. The the game suffers from its reputation. That's what I like. Yeah, exactly. It had problems. It it definitely was like stagnated for a while. Now that the engine is starting to come together, we're seeing real development go on. But like, it's still dealing with its past reputation, and people can't look past that. You know, obviously, you see an article, you're not going to go and watch a Twitch streamer on it. You're going to read that article and say, okay, I'll I'll look into this later when they're not working on. <laughs> bed sheet mechanics exactly. um and yeah i think it does kind of get a bad rap obviously it has problems yeah, i'm not i'm not gonna We've pretend seen it doesn't. plenty of problems so. but like it'd be nice if they talked about those <laughs> in the articles <laughs> it'd be nice yeah yeah that's true i just really wish and that's kind of what my whole series on youtube is it's like look i didn't know anything about the game but i've started to play it and i've made maybe nearly 30 videos in the past month about this game it's just it's crazy. Not, it's just it's not just about <laughs> that is a workflow. Bed sheets. So shut up. <laughs> right. It's also not just about ships, you know? Right. That's the problem with the conversation is it usually goes towards one topic. Oh, you can buy ships or oh, it's not it's not done yet. It's been 10 years of development mm -hmm. and you kind of miss what is it? What is it? Miss the forest for the trees or whatever the yeah. term is. You just you miss all these details and stuff that's actually going on.